the first finalist in the Innovation and Construction Techniques or Materials category is Block Construction Company for the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation, Palo Alto. Block Construction transformed a nondescript 62,000 square foot office building in the heart of Silicon Valley into the dynamic headquarters of the Gordon and Betty Moore Foundation. This unique workplace reflects the founders' roots and their philanthropic interests. It also attains a level of sustainability with LEED Platinum for commercial interiors, which is rarely achieved in an office rehabilitation project. The Block team worked closely with Holly Peterson and Snyder Architects, HPS, to utilize innovative building techniques throughout the project. Two of the project's most complex features, the bridge and the moor path, posed unusual challenges. These two elements, a blend of wood, glass, and steel, form a gravity-defying bridge that welcomes guests into the lobby. An undulating overhead trellis made from timbers rescued from historic mills flows through the building, highlighting the juxtaposition of technical versus natural. The team demonstrated ingenuity and construction expertise, leveraging Building Information Modeling, BIM, and extensive research in order to construct the project's most challenging elements. The design and construction teams overcame several constructability challenges, including a high level of design with a compressed schedule. MEP coordination for the elaborate, one-of-a-kind curving interior trellis and building a singularly supported glass bridge without previously established code compliance regulations. As expressed by the Foundation's leadership, the project team succeeded at every level, delivering a state-of-the-art headquarters that inspires their staff and which is uniquely suited to the Foundation's character and mission. The next finalist in the Innovation in Construction Techniques or Materials category is Siblon Reed for the Flume 51 replacement, Pollock Pines. In 2009, Siblon Reed, SRC, successfully completed one of the riskiest projects in their history, replacing a flume section in mountainous terrain late in the year when weather conditions can bring a halt to any construction project. The task was to replace a 650-foot long elevated section of existing wooden flume in Pollock Pines for the El Dorado Irrigation District. Despite the remote location with limited access and steep terrain, the project had to be completed during a scheduled flume outage between October 1st and December 11th. Not meeting that deadline would result in liquidated damages of up to $22,000 per day and there were no weather days allowed in the contract. Besides the tight schedule and potential weather impacts, the project contained many high-risk and hazardous items. The site had limited access, staging and work areas. Steep slope work required special safety precautions and procedures. SRC worked 65 days straight with multiple 24-hour shifts to complete the project on time. Multiple project segments were dependent on the timely completion of previous activities. With up to 50 workers on the site at any time, creative coordination and teamwork were used to complete work items concurrently. From constructing the replacement flume sections to stabilizing and preparing the site for the new flumes, SRC utilized creative project management and innovative methods to meet the critical schedule. Working in close cooperation with the owner, engineers, subcontractors, and vendors, SRC completed the project safely, ahead of schedule, and within budget. The third finalist in the Innovation in Construction Techniques or Materials category is Turner Construction Company for the Frontier Project Rancho Cucamonga. The Cucamonga Valley Water District formed the Frontier Project, a nonprofit organization, to teach the local community how sustainable design can be economical, efficient, and inviting. The Frontier Project demonstrates innovations for Southern California living and working environments by serving as a living model and laboratory, 
It showcases existing and cutting-edge sustainable technologies and their benefits. The manner in which the Frontier Project building was constructed is almost more important than the building itself. If all of the sustainable construction elements were left out, there would be no purpose for the building's existence. This need for accuracy in construction led the Frontier Project to Turner Construction Company. The team incorporated construction material such as insulated concrete forms, ICF for the walls, an air conditioning system that has no VOC contents, a passive cooling tower with two solar chimneys, terrazzo with recycled glass bottles, and concrete with a high percentage of fly ash, a byproduct of coal-fueled power plants. In addition to alternative building materials, Turner was able to divert more than 88% of all construction waste away from landfills. With Turner's help to guide them through the building process, the organization gained a platinum-level facility that can live up to the green features that it will demonstrate on a daily basis. Working closely, the owner, architect, and contractor created a facility that is accessible, flexible, and most importantly, sustainable.